For so long, we've been punished for speaking about race. We've been ostracized for speaking about gender. We've been chastised for speaking about sexuality. So to now be navigating an environment where that is being encouraged, we need to keep that going. It can't be a moment, it needs to be a movement. Pride is and has always been a protest, but in more recent times, the immediacy of that message has somewhat become lost. I do think awareness has improved when it comes to the experience of black trans women and the fact that we are experiencing disproportionate levels of murder and violence. But we need to get past this moment of awareness and into action. The difficulty about being dropped so publicly by such a big label is that it sends a message. What I said three years ago is now the common understanding of what is actually going on in society. We're seeing the symptoms of the problem play out in real life. We need to really understand that sometimes saying the uncomfortable thing is actually what's needed for progress. Really what we need to be doing is holding people accountable but with a view to repairing a common understanding. The priority for me when it comes to diversity and inclusion isn't just people hiring diverse. We need to be employed not just as the voice of diversity, but we need to be given the opportunity to be the ones doing the hiring. And that's just how I try to live my life. I just try to be the change that I want to see.